Hi, Miss Pearson. Um, I'm going to do a book report on a book I read called George Washington's Spy. Um, I don't remember who it was by, but I started the project on July 11th. So it started off with a couple of boys, well, three boys named Hooter, Matt, and Q. They're having a camp out. They're two little sleeping bags in the tent there. That's when they noticed Matt's sister, Katie, and two other girls. I can't remember their names, but they um, went down to the lake. So Matt, Hooter, and Q decided to go down up and find what they were doing. Go. So Matt, Hooter, and Q oops, went down to the lake and they found that uh, boat that Katie and the girls went in. So um, the boys tried, went in with them. Then they found themselves um, writing. And they um, found themselves back in Revolutionary War time. And um, you know, they're walking right there by the beach. The girls stayed behind at the beach. That's when this dude came up on a um, came up on a horse and took him away. That's when they came out to a you know, let me get there. Are you riding a horse? Yeah, I'm riding a horse. Okay. Can you pause it more while I get there? Alright. So uh the boys they get they got taken away by um some horses. I should say I'm gonna attach it the horse to the fence. So um they get off the horses and they come into this um what's it called? Uh windmill say windmill again. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go. They came to a windmill, so um, the soldiers brought them inside, and they find their stuff in this, like, a room, a really big room. They find out that it was Ben Franklin, and another man, this guy's his name is Moses, but his real name was actually, um, it was Samuel, I think. So then, um, you know, they go on this big adventure. The girls finally get found. They go into this house where rich people live. So, um, where a couple rich people live, so they stay there for a couple of days. And Matt doesn't even know that, eventually, that he actually goes into the same house that the girls were in. But he didn't know it, because the boys were trying to find him. So, you know, they, um, go through a war, and they, uh, they go through a war, almost get shot, get captured like twice, and you know, like an adventure in Revolutionary War times. So that's what George Washington's spy was about. A good thing.